Yeah, Martha and right. Studio D. It's a great little phrase. It's kind of funny, uh, and it's gotten a lot of attention today, that's for sure. Let's bring in our political panel once again. Chris Dyerwalt is with us, Chris Wilson's with us, and Julie Menon is here in the studio. Uh, I just want to go once more. Do you, think he, do you think that's what he meant? Was he sliding Sarah Palin when he said this? Absolutely not. It's a common phrase in the vernacular, and for the Republicans to make an issue out of this really shows a sign of desperation. They don't want to talk about the issues. They want to talk about this fluff. Yeah, but here's what I don't get, Chris Wilson. You know, uh, so everybody seems to think that everyone in the room got it, you know, and knew that that, and that was the reference they picked up, but he didn't? Yeah, is that that's the really suggestion? Where, that, that's where I think it's a little bit curious, because it is, everyone in the room clearly got it. The whole comment, uh, the coverage of Sarah Palin's joke was overwhelming in terms of the lipstick. And the one thing, as far as any of us know, there's only one person in this race for president that wears lipstick, and that's Sarah Palin. So at some point, he should have figured out that this was going to be taken the way it was. But there's an old saying in politics that if you're explaining, you're losing. And that's what Barack Obama is having to do right now, absurd or not. And I don't think he probably was referring to Sarah Palin. But the crowd took it that way. Now he's having to explain. He should just deal with it and move on. But instead, the way he's responding to this really reminds me of the way he responded to Jeremiah Wright controversy. Just kind of blow it off, no big deal, and make excuses for it. He's going to have to confront this before he can move beyond it. You know what, though? This morning at our meeting, I said my bet is he, he doesn't address it. He, he doesn't dignify it. He doesn't get into it, uh, which is what I would have thought he would do, Chris Dyerwalt, but he, he did it right up top. Well, he's, he's sort of stuck here, isn't he? Because uh, as we see, the polls are shifting. Palin's very popular. Uh, I'm sure that uh, he's just tired. He's been on the campaign trail for 18 months. He's exhausted. And he did not expect to be in this situation. He did not expect to be trailing John McCain uh, in September. Uh, and he slipped. He made a mistake. Uh, the problem for him now is if he digs in and fights, if he says, you won't do this to me and I refuse to stand for this, in the end, he's still talking about lipstick on a pig, and that's just silly. Yeah, and he's got to change the conversation, and uh, we all have to change the conversation, frankly. It's time to move on from this. And, you know, it, he tried to do that today, Julie, but how it, how tough is, is his battle right now? We should point out quite clearly, you know, he still is... This is a neck and neck race. This is a very tight race, even though John McCain has made some very good ground. He's, Obama's really got to get back to the issues and this really distraction with the lipstick. I mean, the fact of the matter is, John McCain said the same thing about Hillary Clinton. Everybody so has said that at one time or another. But the, the thing is that she's the, you know, she's been saying the word lipstick about 700 million times uh, in sound bites all across the country. And when you say lipstick lately, everybody seems to think Sarah Palin. It's obviously the new buzzword right. now. But it really, we need to move on to the issues. I think the American public is much smarter than focusing on this absolute distraction. All right, and uh, we will be moving on from it. My bet is that tomorrow you're going to see, uh, as we expect, both of these gentlemen, these candidates uh, at Ground Zero, we're going to be you know, recognizing 9-11, and this is going to be a long-gone conversation, uh, is my bet. Thank you very much, Julie. Thanks for being here. And Thank Chris Steyerwalt and Chris Wilson. Uh, Trace, back down to you.